Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. One of my uh, supporters asked me about uh, creating a compass rose. I thought about it. There's a couple of fun things you can do with compass roses. You can use them on just some of your general artwork, or you can make that the actual artwork itself. And once you get the basic concept of how to create the actual compass rose, adding details and uh, accents to it to make it unique in your own is makes it's a whole lot easier once you get the actual design itself created and we're going to do that here in lightburn and we're going to use uh, nothing but the tools in lightburn to create the actual graphic for, for the compass rose but we're going to use the tools in lightburn including um variable text, um, circular array, uh, some of the Boolean tools, and we're going to actually use with, in doing the um, variable text, we're going to need to create a CSV file, and I'm going to use Excel just to create the actual comma separated value file in order to create the values that I need in the artwork. It's going to be really, really simple. Uh, and like I said, uh, sh other than just creating the CSV file, we're going to do all of this right in Lightburn. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So we're going to go through this pretty quick. I'm not going to do a whole lot of explaining. So if you get lost, you can always just back up and watch it again, see what happens when I do what I do. But we're going to start with a blank screen here, and I'm going to select my double alt layer and my pencil tool and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start drawing a line holding my shift button I hit hold, press and hold shift and I'm gonna start drawing the line at a 45 degree angle because if I let go of the shift button you see it it's gonna go anywhere I want it but if I hold shift it'll lock it at 90 or any of the 45s straight lines are 45s I want a 45 and I want it to be about uh, about that long there continuing to hold sh or shift I'm going to left click and now hold a shift and go straight up and to about there and then I'm going to release or I'm going to left click again release the shift button and come down here and close that pattern and there's my first triangle I'll select that and I'm going to control D, duplicate it. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to control D, duplicate it. Then I'm going to grab both of those and group those. Hold shift, select the original, alt shift H to move those together. And then I'm going to group that in its entirety. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my T2 toolpath and a circle tool. Come down here at the point and hold control shift and draw out a circle. Now I will go back and grab the original group. Hold shift, select the circle, scroll out here so you can see what happens. Go to my circular array and I only want four copies. And I do want to rotate the copies when you do your circular array. So now I've got that. There's first four points of a compass rose. Say OK, group the results. I'm going to do a zero offset of this. Zero offset, zero. Do not delete the original. Say OK. And I'm just going to drag that offset over here. Put it on the T2 toolpath. There we go. Now I'm going back over here. I'm going to say Control D, duplicate it. I'm going to hold Shift. I've got to select it first. Hold Shift and greater than. Rotates at 45 degrees. And I'm going to come up here with my aspect ratio locked. And I'm going to tell it to be 67%. 67%. All right. Now with that, I'm going to say group those and hold shift and send it to that toolpath center and su subtract and I've got just that and I'm going to say control D 
duplicate it, mirror it, and duplicate it again, and then group all of that. And I know I'm going fast. Hold that, or select that, and bullseye it. And now I just created that compass rose. Now, I'm not going to go back and explain all that because I've had a few people complaining. My videos are too long. My videos are too long. Well, you know, there's other video creators out there if you don't like how long my videos are. But we'll make this one a little bit quicker than usual. I will not explain it step by step. If you get lost, go back and rewind it and check it out again there. All right, so now what is this overall size? Uh, let's, let's just tell it to be overall 200 mil with the aspect ratio locked. Now I've got a 200 mil piece. Let's draw out a circle. If I hold, go right in the center and hold control shift, draw out a circle. And we'll tell it to be 200 mil. And we'll double check, make sure it's in the center. Okay, select it. I'm gonna do an offset. This time I'm gonna do an outward offset of, let's look at six mil. Uh, might be a little bit much. Let's do four mil. Yep, that's better. Four mil. Grab both of those, group those together, and duplicate it, control D, and tell that duplicate to be 67%. And now I'm going to uh, move that one over here for a minute. I'm going to select the original rows, and I'm going to do another zero offset. Zero. Do not delete the original, and move that one to the center of this. And go ahead and put it on a T2 toolpath as well. So now I can say A, which is a group of circles. Subtract the offset I just created. That gives me that grouping, and it's grouped. Go ahead and put it on a black toolpath. Put it back in the center here. And put this one on the black toolpath. And we're starting to see a compass rose. And uh, I want to put some little tick marks around it. So let's come up here, get a rectangle, and uh, let's do, uh, we did a four millimeter offset on this. So let's do three mil height and unlock our aspect ratio and tell it to be 1.5. Yeah. All right. Now with holding my control button, I get that little flashy there holding control I get that little purple dot there and I'm just going to drag it counterclockwise around the perimeter until I round it all over and I'm going to tell it to come over here and go to the center and then I'm just going to arrow it down till I get it where I want it and those aren't quite exactly centered up on those options I can play with my movement tools but instead I'm going to change my view to coarse frame. I told that to be 4 mil, so I can do a 4 mil rectangle and then tell it to go to the center and the top. And then I can select that and tell it to go to the center of that. And now it's perfect. And now I can get rid of that. And now select the little tick. Looks like a little tic-tac. Select the perimeter and do a circular array. This time I want to do 16 copies, and I want to make sure I'm rotating the cop object copies as I go. Say OK. Let's get it back in our field smooth. All right, so now I've got a compass rose and 16 tick marks. Now let's do uh, the variable text. So. I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to tell it percent zero. And I'm going to tell it to be merge CSV. So now I've got that. I hold shift and put it in the center. And then I want to put it down a little closer to it about there. And you can change your font to be whatever font you want it to be. Set your font to the font you like. In fact, you know what? Let's do uh, let's do the engrave. 
do, 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 do. engravers there we go and that position's good all right now i've got merge csv percent zero i'm going to hold shift and select my outer perimeter go back to the circular array i only want eight copies this time but because I am doing this as a uh, variable text, I need to make sure I've got auto increment variable text turn on, and I want to auto increment variable text by one. You can group the results. Rotating the objects will help it rotate around the perimeter and say okay. So now I've got that. And you're like, well, that don't, that, that don't look right. Well, we're gonna use variable text. And I went into Excel, and I've just created a simple little, uh, spreadsheet starting in column a it's all in column a and went north in the next row northeast row three east row four southeast next south southwest west and northwest so i've got eight points there for the compass all of it in column a one through eight in rows and i've saved it to my desktop and i've saved it with the name of compass so all i have to do is come over here and browse my desktop find the compass csv file and say open and that's crucial now whenever you're if you're in excel if you can use any text tool that will allow you to save it in a csv file but you need to make sure you save it as a dot csv file so mine is compass dot csv say open and now you can see csv file compass dot csv if you do not have this variable text window open, to find it, you go to your window tool or window menu, and here at the very bottom is variable text. Check that to turn it on to open this window. Browse your system, find the file, and now when you look at all of this, if I go to preview, you can see I've got north, northeast, east, southeast, southwest, south, that way. There's got all my points of the compass on there. And if you want to see that without going to preview, you can always hit your test button right here. And it'll show you what it's going to do whenever it does what it does when it does what it does. And then if you want to just bake that in and make it permanent, you've got a bake button right there. Hit the bake. And now it'll set those values and you can say done. And it's no longer available text. Those are now set in there. And you can save that and preview it, send it to your file. You can do other artwork if you wanted to put you know, some kind of um, anything. If you wanted to put a silhouette of the con continents out there behind that, you could. But this was going to be a simple and quick video showing you that you can do something like this really, really quick and without a whole lot of effort in Lightburn and create this and then put it over in your art library and you've got a compass rose you can always pull up and add to anything that you're doing or make it just the artwork itself so this is quick fast simple if you got lost go back and watch it again because i know i went quick because i've still got my head on fire i'm about to get some things wrapped up but i wanted to get this out uh because like i said it was a request about how do you create compass roses and so this is how I create compass roses. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it enjoyable and in, in, uh, entertaining, all those good things. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.